Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to one of the laggiest zoos on Earth. And oh my gosh, what is even happening here? Do you people have no sense of shame? For shame? For deep shame? Do I like just not have janitors here or something? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Recycle, you guys. In fact, if you can, don't even, don't even get the plastic bottles in the first place. Like, get some reusable bottles, please. I beg you. Think of the baby turtles and the giraffes and the dingoes and whatever else you want to think of. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe these people. Uh, all right. Well, hopefully, I have at least tidied that up. My good grief. You know what we can do? You know what? we can do to try to reduce this amount of waste that is currently happening in our zoo we can turn our backs on making a buck off these people and instead of enforcing this sense of commercialization where they need to come and buy all sorts of fancy drinks i can't exactly put coffee on tap i'm sorry ma'am but i can actually come over and as we saw last time somewhere around here I happen to have, it was on the other side of the camel exhibit, a drinking fountain that people were popping by to visit. Aha! A sand cat drinking fountain. So let's go ahead and we're actually going to install the sand cat drinking fountain right there and another one right here so that by providing free refreshing water here in the safari zoo for all of our guests hopefully they will come and they will utilize this adorable sand cat drinking fountain instead of buying such wasteful things and making our zoo just absolutely polluted so ha huh, we have done our good deed for the day but all right my friends let us continue this should be finally the last day of this lag fest and then we can move on to some of the other awesome zoos we have to show off for our month of may memories as we prepare to gear up for a summer of adventure. Ah, doesn't that just roll off the tongue? Oh my. Oh my. That's a, that's a big, that's one heck of an arachnid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't know. I totally forgot that she will actually jump at the, the, the window. That was really fantastic. Oh my gosh. There's definitely something to be said for coming back to a game after spending so long so long away because then everything is fresh and new and exciting again and we've got some little scorpions dashing about in the sand there and then over here look at that that almost looks like a oh look at that like a rhinoceros beetle kind of reminds me of spike the beetle do you guys follow him on twitter because spike has completely won my heart over i kind of want to get like a painting done by spike but who knows all right so let's keep moving and we'll check in on this area look at everybody Holy cow! You guys have been hatching some eggs. Look at all these African spurred tortoises. They've been having some babies. Oh my gosh, we have like an entire migration of African spurred tortoises. This is hilarious. Let's go ahead and give them all a little scrub on the shell. Hopefully there's enough food for all of them. I'm like partially tempted to possibly adopt out a whole bunch. Nobody's pregnant, are they? If, if somebody is going to lay some eggs pretty soon, I might adopt out the babies. Let's see. This is a male right over here coming to wallow in the water. And then over here we have a male. And then over here we have another male. So you know what? I could probably adopt out at least one of them. And then over here we have a whole bunch of females. So I guess the darker ones are the males. Let's check. She is currently not pregnant, so she she shouldn't be. I wonder, do they call it Ovid if it's if it's like a turtle that's gonna lay an egg? Uh, that's one of the words that you use when you have a, like a bird that's gonna lay an egg. Oh, they're 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 gonna. I can't click on this. Okay, scooch. I can't manage to do an examination on this tortoise, unfortunately. Uh, she's nibbling her little grass. That's so cute. All right, almost had it. I almost had it. There we go. All right, so let's see. And she's grazing, and she is also not expectant. So I think the population should control itself quite well here. So let's continue moving on. All right, wiggle, wiggle. And we're actually going to... <gasps> Look at them! Sorry about the lag. Oh, that's painful amounts of lag. <gasps> Are there sand cat kittens in here? I think there's sand cat kittens inside. All right, let's do this, guys. We're going to run inside. We're going to check on the sand cat kittens. I remember when I built this building... It was through like blood and sweat and tears getting this thing constructed. It was not an easy job. I love, love, love 
that you can look out on the camel exhibit right here and you can just see some of the oh wait i think yeah yeah you can see the camel exhibit over there and you can just see some of the zoo while you're inside this building and then you can come down here and there's like these refreshing little stalls where you can buy some food and drink and there's a really beautiful desert garden i love that this is the kind of stuff i want to make sure i really start putting in zoo crafting and if i could figure it out i could probably start making fountains like that too uh, all right little bathroom over there and then let's wiggle inside and let's check in on our sand cats <gasps> and they're sand kittens there's actually sand kittens in the hay here oh my gosh i did not know that we had some sand cats that makes me very happy and it looks like the little sand kittens or like sand kittens i should say it looks like the little sand kittens are enjoying the fact that they have this area to hide in so they have this interior exhibit that should be full of fish i don't think anyone was restocking their fish for them to eat here and then they have an exterior exhibit where they can walk out here <gasps> wow we have a lot of sand cats what i didn't realize that we had increased our sand cat population quite so high okay let's turn this way oh look at you hello gorgeous I'm actually out of room to take more pictures of your amazing beauty. I'm out of film. That's that's a pity. That's a deep pity. But it's very exciting to see you. So yeah, oh, and it came literally to eat the fish that we were standing on top of. Well, there you go, my friend. All right, so yes, we have sand cats. Hopefully they're enjoying their exhibit. Uh, let's go ahead and keep exploring. So we had the African spur tortoises. We had sand cats. I almost feel like doing a scavenger hunt here. That would be quite fun, wouldn't it? Oh dear. All right, let's scooch this way. And then we have the massive wall of lag that we are facing. And you want to know who caused that? I can tell you all who caused that. The root cause of this massive wall of lag is the hippopotamus. So let's get this over with. Let's go and visit. I'm so proud of this fencing. This zoo used to be one of my all-time favorite ones until I, I added too much water into it. Water is the bane of life if you are playing Zoo Tycoon 2. Oh my gosh. Think of the baby turtles! This isn't a joke! We're all on this planet together, everybody! You gotta take care of it! I'm not even joking! It's your responsibility for breathing my air! Ugh. Ugh. Alright, moving on! Let's go ahead and come over here where more people are making a huge mess and disappointing me. And I think that, uh, okay, to our left is going to be another tortoise exhibit. And to our right, right over here, what's inside? What will I find? <gasps> Roadrunners! So many snoozing, snoring roadrunners. Oh my gosh. I think our roadrunner population is out of control too. What is even happening in here? This is too much bird poop. Oh my gosh, there's some eggs. Kids, look at these eggs. I should add them into the UOLG Research Center. Oh my goodness. Roadrunners. I don't think we have roadrunners inside of zoo crafting now that I think about it. Uh, that would be really fun if we did. All right, let me make sure. Okay, everything's good. Uh, I think we have too many roadrunners. I'm just going to grab a few of them. Hello, Greater Roadrunner. That's fantastic. Let's grab you. Okay, come here. Actually, the fact I can even grab some of these Roadrunners is probably a really amazing thing. Uh, we definitely have too many of them. So we're going to adopt a few out because they were actually getting sick sharing the same exhibit together. Oh my gosh, look at them run around the place. That's so cute. Yeah, they don't have enough food and water because all of them are eating eating and drinking all of the resources and they're like growing increasingly happy as i get rid of more of them there you go guys we'll release you into the wild it'll all be good there hopefully that'll help a little bit i can't believe look how many more roadrunners and eggs that are going to hatch that we have nearby so don't worry like you literally should not keep an overpopulation in your your exhibits in your zoo so this is completely reasonable to go through and share the roadrunner love by giving these guys to another zoo all right that seemed to actually help out quite a bit so let's jump down here we now have this really cool kiosk where people can be educated about roadrunner overpopulation issues i suppose which i don't think is a problem in real life we have a really cool statue that's very lifelike over here and brings back memories of a warthog bowling down our guest like like little little bowling pins. And then what is in here? I'm pretty sure this is a really cool meat eater. There should be Oh well did that thing actually move? 
Does this thing move or was that just my imagination? It was probably just my imagination. But if this is like an informational map that moves, that would be like so ahead of its time. Oh my gosh. All right, something is in there. And something. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Look at that, is that a coyote? Oh, I think that's a coyote. And this is definitely a really cool gecko habitat. Look at these. <gasps> Ooh, look at you. Hello, Schnick. Hello, Danger Noodle, how are you? Oh, that's so cool. I love this area. All right, let's go ahead and see if I can figure out a way to get inside. But I'm pretty sure, and again, sorry about the lag. This will be our last day here because this is ridiculous. Coyotes! There we go, coyotes, a creature that many of you who happen to be from the Midwestern part of the United States may not consider something you would expect to see in a zoo. But I actually feel like trying to include some of the more common species that are native to certain areas, especially those that are considered like quote unquote vermin uh, or pests, the way that coyotes and raccoons are often referred to as, is really important for helping people become educated about their place in the ecosystem. And especially like coyote populations kind of have a bit of a boom and there's so many of them because we removed all the other predators. <laughs> You can only do so much, guys. You can only you can only expect so much before these guys end up becoming very adaptable and filling in those niches that we leave behind when we mess around with our ecosystems. So I could go on that rant for quite a while too. But let's find out. Oh, what's in here? Ah, I literally just walked myself into a trash can. Ah, that's so me. All right. Oh, are those crocodilians? All right, how do I get in there? No, that's not the kind of response you should have to seeing crocodiles in a zoo, by the way. All right, these are definitely leaves. This is my calling card. Uh, let's see. You know, in real life, making sure that your zookeepers have a clear view of the exit and of the predator that they are walking in to care for is very important. But this, my friends, is our Nile River. And this is where all of the lag problems originate from. What the heck was that? Was that a fish? Was that a fish? Also, don't jump in. Oh, that's a fish! Check him out! He is swimming in our water. That is so cool. You can see him kind of torpedoing through. And then I'm pretty sure... Yeah, check him out! Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. This is so much better than I remember. Oh my goodness! Look at him! Oh, that's so awesome! We have this crocodile who currently is stuck inside a tree. And yes, behold! The origins of the lag. Are you gonna- Oh, he's attacking the prey dummy! That is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Uh, but yes, so all of this water is actually why we have this horrific amount of lag. <laughs> and this will never happen in one of my zoos again. So if you need some hints and tips for playing Zoo Tycoon 2, don't do this! This is the problem maker. This, this is, this is what has caused all of these issues and continues to make it so everything lags. This little, like, pathway over here, this river. Uh, maybe I should actually just go ahead and, like, I'm really tempted just to, like, bulldoze this river, but it's so pretty and we won't be here again, so I'll leave it alone this time. Uh, it does look nice, I have to admit. All right, but let's get this over with. Brace ourselves. We're just gonna kind of slide into the water with our crocodilians. Check your underwear for leeches for you old school people. Oh, hello, fish. Instead, I run up with the fish. Yeah, this is too much to handle. All right. All right, all right. I can't get a close-up on the crocodilians. <gasps> what about the hippopotamus? The hippos! They're the ones who also cause a lot of this lag. Check out- I forgot I did this awesome waterfall. That's awesome! Ah. But they are also one of the ones who have caused this laggy lag because water, this is a lot of poop. That's a lot of hippo poop. There you go, my dear. Now slightly more poop-free environment for you. Because the water and, and our Zoo Tycoon 2 stuff does not like to mix. All right, we'll replenish some of your grass. And we have a hippo. Hello, my dear. And I think she's coming inside. Is there a hippo in there? <gasps> There's literally a hippo in there. I don't know if I've ever seen him in a barn before. So that's kind of exciting. Awesome. Hi, Bobby. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So I think we've seen pretty much the whole zoo now. We've seen the hippos who are causing problems. We have the pygmy hippo over here who's like, I'm not going back in that laggy water. We have a young boy. Excuse me, a young girl, Erin. Ahem. <clears throat> What are you doing? No, Aaron, if you want to view the crocodilians, there is a safe 
location to do so from. You do not need to throw yourself into the- Please don't do that. Don't throw yourself into the water. Okay, she's going to come over and use the binoculars. So I'm kind of curious about what she's up to now. Is she going to be super awesome? What are her thoughts? She has a hat. Her favorite, her favorite animal is chimpanzee. Cool, I can see really far with these binoculars. I hope my wish comes true. Oh, Erin, what is your wish? I'm so curious now. That is so adorable. Hopefully she thinks well of being able to look out on our crocodiles with these binoculars. I really think that like really good binoculars are not really something I see in a lot of zoos anymore. And that's kind of a pity, but not many zoos like have exhibits that are big enough, unfortunately, to warrant them. But I would love to see like more binoculars that were easy for people just to step up and use. I know North Carolina Zoo has one, but I also have a wonderful wildlife zoom camera now, which has greatly enhanced my ability to really get up and close with the animals that I get to see, both in the wild or when I go to a zoo or a rescue center. And it really makes a difference because the closer you zoom in and the more you watch their little tiny movements, it's just, I, I just really, really love it. Uh, so it's very educating. That's right. Very, very educating. Oh, look at her. She's so happy. Nile Crocodile 1 looks very happy. Nile Crocodile 2 looks very happy. Comfortable. Yay. Okay, so she's having a good time. And this lady is uh, taking a tour of the zoo. Her favorite animal is the koi fish, but I guess she's very poetic because she just thinks about it as a big white, like white blank page. And then I think this is our final exhibit. No, we have lions. Oh, I forgot about my lions. All right, well, we'll wrap up with the king of the jungle, uh, which actually, mm -hmm, king of the savannah, I suppose. Is the lion the king of the jungle? I forget what game that was from or what movie. I can't remember. All right. Ah! Trash! This is terrible. This is terrible. Recycle, guys. I'm not even joking. We've only got one planet. And that's really a pity. Uh, all right! Okay! Oh my gosh! Look at all these small- Oh my gosh! Cool! I've never had this happen before! Transportation Tycoon Level 3 Award! Excellent! As a reward for moving 1,000 guests on a Jeep vehicle circuit or a Skytram circuit, upgraded Skytram carts are now available for purchase in your zoo. Which is awesome, but I don't have a Skytram, so... Thank you! That's really cool! Uh, but alright, so you guys may notice there's all this little red stuff all over the ground here. These are actually uh, bits of food that the African wild dogs collect from the food feeders and they try to take to their young. So over here, you just saw it firsthand. The African wild dog literally just regurgitated some of its food so that uh, so that the, the young would be able to enjoy it. But let's go ahead and take care of everyone. I think that it was a little bit messy in here because that does make for a messy environment. Seriously, take good care of them, Mr. Zookeeper. Uh, but let's see how they're doing. All right, a little bit more mess, I think. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of dominance issues. Maybe we have way too many... <laughs> African wild dogs, to be completely honest. Uh, so let's see what this one's problem is. Maybe I can help them before we go. Let's see. Oh, jeez! Challenging! Oh, yeah, it's a dominance issue. So I'm going to go ahead and adopt that one out. Uh, because we have too many of them, it seems. And they're running away from each other. They're constantly challenging each other. So I think I have too many males and females in the same area. Uh, so we're going to just gently... Gently ease the population up a little bit. They have a whole bunch of babies already. And believe it or not, even though that seems unfair, they were getting sick, I noticed, while we were touring. And that will actually definitely help. They actually do travel in family groups of, I think, up to 20? Again, they'll definitely look that fact up because it's just something that I have rolling around in my head. So I don't have any citation at hand. But I'm pretty sure African wild dogs do actually live in packs that can grow very, very, very large, up to 20 individuals, which is a lot. Uh, and whenever I see pictures of them, like from people who are like, wow, look at all of these African wild dogs sleeping in the road at safari tours, there's a lot of them. So maybe there's a ton of them and they should get along better in here, but it's, uh, they need more space, honestly. I really should have given them a bigger exhibit. But maybe one day we can make that happen. For now, let us walk into our final, our final fantastic, somewhat laggy exhibit because of the cursed, the cursed waterways. Look, if we turn our back on the waterways, did you notice how much better everything got as soon as I like turn like this so that we're not facing 
we're not facing the water. It's kind of hilarious, isn't it? But all right, we have a whole bunch of lions in here, including a little pride rock. Isn't that awesome? Oh, that brings back so many memories of the old world. Oh my goodness. That's really fantastic. And the old world being in Zoo Crafting, our Minecraft series, by the way. And I definitely have too many male lions in here for them to get along with having a little pride of their own. Uh, we have several females. Yeah, we have several females back here too. So what I might do is I'll go through, fill up the water. Yeah, see, and now the African wild dogs are expecting more pups, so I imagine they just needed to kind of have things cleared up a little bit. Um, and for these males, let's see, going to use the heated rock. Oh, Cecil is still alive! All right, if Cecil the second is still alive, man, that brings back memories of Cecil. Oh, then we'll go ahead and we will release the two males that we had with us. So, all right, and is that Cecil the second? Is that really him? Oh my gosh, that brings back such... I'm gonna, like... I'm tearing up about memories of Cecil, actually. Um, that really... That brings back a, a dark and sad time in the history of, like, lion conservation, for sure. And some of you might actually be too young to know about Cecil, which is a little bit of a pity. Okay, Cecil the second. If that is you, please let me, like, see if that's you. Okay, buddy? All right, we have African Lion 31. There's... Oh, nope, that's not you. Oh, Cecil, wow, we have a lot of lions. They really are well camouflaged in uh, the grass that we actually happen to have. But yeah, Cecil the second is kind of like in charge of all of this area. So let's go ahead and we will, oh, Cecil, do we have two Cecil the seconds? We'll go ahead and release the males because I don't want to start too many fights in here. And is that another? They're really hard. They're like, nope, we're hiding in the red oak grass. Uh, Cecil the second? Do you mind? Just, oh, nope, that's African Lion 29. All right, then I know who Cecil the second is because I think I was down to just one. Uh, but all right, there we go, guys. So we have now toured, and I'm very happy about it, our entire safari zoo. Our biggest, one of our oldest, and one of our absolute laggiest of all Zoo Tycoon 2 zoos. And I'm completely feeling the vibe again. I'm really in love with this. I feel super inspired to do a whole bunch of work in our zoo crafting series. And I'm remembering to never, ever, 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 ever add in this much water into any of the zoos that I fall in love with and want to keep for a long time. Because it won't end well. It will not end well at all. But that was our safari zoo. So thank you guys for joining me on this very laggy trip down memory lane. And we will be visiting some of our other old zoos that I still have the save files rattling around for next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.